It's go time. Cardio. Let's get it going. Wednesday morning, June 1st. I want to get something here set up before I actually hit the bike. All right, let's get this set up. I like to like to have another monitor. Good morning, hey, intellectual soapbox. How you doing? Hey, James, how you doing? Sort of that. Just getting my other monitor screen set up so I can watch a little TV as well. Let's chat with you guys. Just got it. I really got to clean my desk. I got so much junk on this thing. Accumulates so fast. There. Amazing how fast the junk accumulates on your on your desk. Put my sneakers on my feet first thing in the morning. Thanks, Yads. Because I find when I use my sneakers, or principally, if I find if I don't put my sneakers on, I'm always hitting my feet on uh, like the bottom of my desk or in the kitchen. If I have a spasm, my feet will kick out and hit the cupboards, and that'll and I'll get a cut or bruise on my foot. And when I get a cut, that leads to Cellulitis, unfortunately, not all the time, but uh, I've had cellulitis in my left foot four times now, four or five times now, and it's because I get little cuts or nicks in my feet that I don't realize I have, and they get infected, and uh, cellulitis sets in. So that's so why I usually wear sneakers, but I forgot to put them on this morning. Okay, let's get my clock ready here. And we'll put in, whoops, and we'll get 30 to 40 kilometers, 30 to 40 kilometers, 30 to 40 minutes of cardio. Camera's blurry. Is it, is it still blurry? Let me just go and check. I wonder if that's. Yeah, 
Let me check that in. The blurring, blurring, blurring. Still blurring. Let me see it here. Hey, pop the watch. I'm not sure why it would be blurring. Maybe it's. I think it's because of the sun. I'll check in over here. Th you think it's because of the, uh, you see fine? Okay, I think it might be just because of the sun coming in. Because it is it's bright, another bright, bright, sunshiny day out there. Let's go that way. Oh, okay, okay. It's good, 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 okay. We go back here. We'll get this started. I'm going to turn that fast. A good that's a good opening. That's a good opening song for my cardio session. The Jay Cutler TV theme. So we'll try this out. It's all good now. Good. Okay. Good. 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 My clock here. Clock. Clock. Let's go. Okay. Let me restart. Let's go. All right. Here we go. How's everybody doing this morning? We had frost last night. Backyard grass is covered with frost. Now you notice my wall here on the floor, pretty wide open. I took all my weights out and put them in the garage. So you start doing my training up there. I'm going to keep the bike in here though so I can still interact while I do my cardio. So I have you up on the big screen right now so I can see all your comments. Follow up the chat and all that good stuff. So we're going to put in 30, 30 minutes. I did some cardio yesterday. Yesterday morning, I did uh, 35 minutes yesterday morning. And then at the gym, I went to the gym yesterday afternoon. And did body pump. Yes, I did body pump class. It was a 50 minute class. I did all the upper body tracks. It's a full body workout. But for the leg tracks, like your lunges and squats and all that, I go out to the gym during those three, three to four minute tracks. I do abs, ab work. And I uh, come back in and uh, the tracks that I do, they usually last, let's say between three and a half, five minute tracks, depending on the song. And uh, it's all upper body for me. I do the uh, chest, your back, shoulders, triceps, and biceps. I'm feeling my biceps today. Oh wow, blanket, blanket, it's blowing away. <laughs> yeah, we had tornado warnings last week, not last weekend, but the weekend before. That's crazy, tornado warnings. So 
So you're at the volume pump class, so this is about 50 minutes, and you have your ab workout, your last track, and then a stretching track. Um, so after that, I went back into the gym and did the rowing erg for 2,000 meters. They called it a day. Came home. I tried doing cardio, they get a machine like this at the gym, and I tried doing cardio on it last few times, but it's, it needs repair. It's really bad. It's so noisy. It's chain, chain driven. And uh, the chain rubbing up against the side of the plastic here on the inside, and it makes an awful, awful noise. It's a loud noise. So I put another. It's not a complaint, but I put the issue forward again to get it fixed. So, see where it goes again. It's going on four years trying to get that thing fixed. I told him just to get rid of it, actually. And you might as well get rid of it. You're not going to fix it. Taking up floor space. There's a really cool, um, it's a skewer they have down at the other gym. It's uh, it's really cool. If you go right in with your wheelchair, it's just, you're doing skiing like this. Cables, the cables, you can adjust the tension, and you just ski with cables like that. It is, uh, it's an awesome workout. This morning, I appreciate your company. Five minutes into the workout. Might only be able to get 30 in today. So I have to go and make some breakfast. For me, would be the reading. <laughs> I can read, but I have a hard time concentrating reading and fall asleep. Maybe, that, maybe it's the time of day I read. Maybe I should read first thing in the morning, but wait, why wait? So I try reading at night, like, you know, to wind down. Uh, I don't know, like, like, if I get through half the page, Seventy-two days, eh? Whoo! That's a uh, yeah, that's a hard challenge. Seventy-two day hard challenge. Well, so I can do the no alcohol, no problem. I can do the workouts, no problem. But when it comes to reading, I don't know. I have to really get a good book and pick a good time of day to read, like. Huh. I'm like, just think of that pocket watch. I'm thinking hard on that one. That seems to be really challenging. Which I like. Let's switch it up here. Let's go in the other direction. So I was doing my cardio challenge, a 30 day. I 
Let me find that stuff out in my 30 day challenge. That's uh, quite commitment to set two days. Because in my, in my 30 day challenge, I didn't have to adjust you know, the times of my workout to fit schedules and whatever. You know, family schedules, Halloween's. Sometimes I was on late at night, sometimes I was off site. I had to do a couple of cardio sessions at the lake. Uh, change up the weightlifting session once. Good morning, Bruna. How are you? Good morning. Good evening to you. Good evening. This morning. See the sun shining through? It's morning time. It's a cool morning. We had frost on our grass last night. Oh, I woke up this morning and there's frost on the grass. So, uh, it's chilly up there right now, but it's going to warm up. Not super hot. We're only going to go up to 20 degrees today. 20 degrees Celsius. Which, hey, it's better than minus 20. I'll take it. So today I'm going to go back to the gym for my second workout at uh, right after work. My daughter, she goes to the gym on Wednesdays. Uh, we don't work out, but I got her a personal trainer just to get her started. She just started a couple weeks back. I uh, got her personal trainer so she could just learn the ropes. But she pretty much knows everything because they did a class in, in school, in their phys ed class that went all over all the different machines. In a gym, like they have a gym at the school, so they did some programs there, and uh, she's pretty familiar with the with the gym equipment. But I figure I'd still be able to go anyways. Train her for the first little while. Cold as it is outside, it's getting warm in here again. So, hey, uh, pocket watch. Can I substitute watching a movie for reading one hour a day? Or listening or listening to motivational uh, clips? Yeah, how about that? Listen to motivational clips to read. I'll stay awake when I listen to watch that kind of stuff. But when I read, I always fall asleep. It's a game. No matter how big the book is, how little the book is, I'll be asleep when it's first page in. Because when I actually stop, I just if I sit down on the couch, if I sit down on the couch to watch the movie with the kids, since it's like at nine o'clock at night. I'm done. I'm gone. I'm asleep. First 10 minutes. I'll try the reading first. I'll try the reading first. I won't, I won't, do, the, I won't do the challenge right away, but I'll just try for myself. I'll try reading. I'm always saying i got to read more. All right, let's switch it up. Uh, I'm going to read more, so maybe I'll get into a good... Good routine reading, and then I'll pick up that challenge. So he said, no problem picking the alcohol, because I really don't drink anyways. Working out, use the workout twice a day. Just get another day in parallel. Give me some good karaoke going on on, on Burner's Challenge, or Burner's Channel game. Great singing. There's a great crew over there singing karaoke. I listen while I work. And uh, I do that all, all, all day pretty much when I'm working. I'll flip to different lives 
and uh, listen in or go to people's channels, your guys' channels, get caught up on some videos. Just mostly sit back and listen. I can't be too engaged with the chat and all that kind of stuff because it's working. But I find that it uh, helps me focus too. It keeps those, all the outside noise here at home. And coffee is coming right up, James, for me too. Give me a quick drink. I forgot my water bottle yesterday. <sighs> that was that wasn't too bad at first, but when I got into like the 20 minute mark of my 35 minute cardio, I was really needing to drink water. I should have but all right stopped. Got off with like got my water bottle at the beginning. Oh yeah. Yeah, I have to do that. It was kind of fun. Nervous. I was nervous and singing. But uh, yeah, that was fun. Very relaxed, comfortable group to sing in front of. Sing with. You have to put in a song, uh, request a song, and I'll, and I'll sing it. Thirty seconds here. We're gonna flip it over. Now let's go one more minute. It's, uh, I'm off a little bit today. You didn't hear me earlier in the live that my wall and floor here is quite bare because I moved all my Workout equipment up the garage. I put a short on yesterday. I think it was yesterday, maybe the day before. I put a short showing my um, my garage gym. So we start some workouts today. I might do a workout Thursday. Garage gym Thursday workout or Friday. Not sure. That's the bugs. The mosquitoes are horrible out there. Especially in the evening, when the temperature is just right. Those bugs are unbelievable. You can't stay outside. I took you guys out yesterday morning on my live, and uh, the bugs aren't bad at all. So we could have some early morning workouts. Seventy-two days. Yeah, you got me really thinking, Papa Watch. You really got me thinking on that. I always like a good challenge. Seventy-two days. We're going on the first of June. I could start it today. Because once I start something, I can't stop. Once I start a challenge, I won't stop. I will not stop. Minutes here. 
a session, outdoor session by lake. Because we are in a way. I was thinking about you. But I know at the time that I did it, it's probably early, early morning where you were. You're probably asleep.
But yeah, two days probably max for me. Unless I'm sick. You know, unless I got some sort of bug. Yeah, I don't go anywhere. I stay home and rest. Because rest is the best medicine for healing. So no such thing as sweating it out. I tried that for many years. It doesn't work. And if you can go by, you can talk to any doctor, any trainer. It doesn't work. You don't sweat it out. That bug is in you, that bug is in you. It's just rest and nourishment to beat the bug. Trust me, I competed at pretty high levels in sports. And when I got ill and sick, it's cold or flu. That's how I just work it out. I'm going to do my workout anyways. No, you just set yourself back further. So take that day off, two days off, whatever you need. Let the body rest, fight it off, and be back stronger than ever. The countdown is on for school, folks. Whew. June 1st, I think school is out. The final day of school for my kids, June. I'm going to check that. Third week of June, maybe it's June 20th. June. Summer's around there. That's huge for me to pop a watch is uh, cutting out the sugar because I have a huge sweet tooth. Or I just add many sweet teeth. I love chocolate. I love, I love pie. I love cake. I love it all. I love the sugar candies. Alright, gang, we're at the 30 minute mark. We're gonna do a little stretch, we're gonna turn Jay off. We're gonna do a little stretch, and then uh, go get some eggs. Turn you down, Jay. There we go. Okay, there we go. Are you on, Verna? Are you doing your karaoke now? Are you there, Verna? 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 No, I don't have my sneakers on. I forgot to put my sneakers on this morning. Usually I have them in the bathroom by my clothes hamper. And uh, just when I wake up, do whatever, put my shoes on, I'm off to go. I put my shoes on because I don't want to. So I get spasms. I get leg spasms throughout the day. But I don't move around enough. I get uh, pretty bad leg spasms and they'll kick out. And I'll either kick the bottom of my desk or the corners of my desk or I'll be out in the kitchen and I'll kick underneath the counter and that'll leave cuts and scrapes on my feet sometimes and with the the cuts and the scrapes i uh unfortunately on my, on my left i'm prone to getting a cellulitis infection in my left foot i've had it four or five times i think it's five times i just had it last february and uh yeah it sucks it let lazy up for a good oh, i was out for a good Three weeks, I think it was. Good three weeks I was out with that cellulitis. So, try to avoid it, so I, I gotta go put my sneakers on after here. I have indoor, outdoor shoes, just like elementary school. Indoor, outdoor shoes. It also helps like with my spasticity, because my legs are, my feet are quite sensitive. And anything that touches my feet will trigger my spasms. For example, like if I do this, well, I'm pretty relaxed right now because I just finished the workout and the blood's flowing really good, so I'm quite relaxed. But here in a couple hours, if I just shake my legs like this, my legs will start bouncing up and down. 
Um, but wearing the, the sneakers that kind of helps absorb the impact uh, that my feet take from wheeling around. And if I happen to move my feet like this, they don't uh, kick in the pretty strong spasms. Also, uh, temperature affects my spasticity too. Like earlier in the uh, we, over the weekend, in really warm weather, and that totally helps with my spasticity. Totally relaxes me to the point where I can't even use my spasticity to help stand me up because uh, the warm weather, the humidity, just totally relaxes my legs. Um, now on the other side of it, the cold weather. Once I get if it's winter, cold, or not even have to be that cold, uh, the cold increases my spasticity. So I get really spastic during the cold season. When I go outside, even cold water, if I put my feet in the tub and the water's cold, and I can't even feel the cold, I can feel the cold temperature at a certain point. It has to be freezing cold in order for my feet to feel it. Um, and then my, but if it is just a bit cold and I don't know it's cold, but my feet do, and my spasticity kicks in. Same thing with the hot water. If um, the water is warm, I'm fine. It's great. No spasticity going in. But if the water is really hot I, or just, you know, moderately hot, I tip my, my feet in, my legs will start spasming because of the temperature. And if it's really, really hot, I can feel it. But if it's really, really hot, it's too late because, uh, you know, I shouldn't be in there. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go grab some. We'll be uh, checking some music out there, Verna. Uh, when I'm done eating, I'm going to go cook some eggs. And, uh, yeah, cook some eggs and get a coffee. Yeah, just one second, gang. Bear with me. i got to set up my desk. All right, thanks. I'm gonna go. We're gonna go in. The, we're gonna go in the uh, the kitchen there for a little breakfast. Disconnect it from the computer, and we're gonna wheel in. Grab my water bottle. Wheel in. I don't know what that meant. The reminder came up. What is this? Okay, we're all good. Hey, Maggie. See Maggie over there? There's a pup. There's Maggie. <laughs> you got a crooked smile, Maggie. I cook my daughter eggs every morning before she goes to school. So I like to make sure my kids have something in their stomach that they eat because if they didn't, no, oh, that's too bright. If they didn't, if I didn't, they wouldn't eat anything in the morning. They'd sleep right until like five minutes before the bus comes and then just run out to the bus stop. Even without a lunch, I always make sure they have snacks with them. They won't really take a lunch, but I buy little snacks, healthy snacks, some junk food too. Just so they have something to take to school. Because if I didn't do that, they wouldn't take anything and they'd be starving. But they're really good. They do take a water bottle every day. They take their water bottle. Again, I was too lazy. I hadn't had a chance to cut up any peppers. Or onions yet. I'm just going to have straight eggs and pepper, which I don't mind. Egg whites. One whole egg. I put a little spray, a little bit of olive oil in there. 
And uh, yeah, I don't even have any spinach. I was even in Walmart. Good morning, Drunken Chef Barbecue. Not barbecuing this morning, but I'm going to fry up an egg. Uh, I, yeah, I was in Walmart yesterday, and I have a list in my head what to get. Of course, I forgot half the stuff I wanted to get. But the main objective to go to Walmart was to get a yellow T-shirt for my daughter, for my kids. Because it was uh, Spirit Day today, and they needed a yellow T-shirt of some sort. So I since I had to wash my hands. So I went to Walmart and bought like eight different types of yellow t-shirts because they're all different. I don't know which ones to buy because I need to get two of four of each because they had uh, the different sizes. I didn't know what sizes would fit, fit them and I didn't really know what shade of yellow they wanted. You put a little bit of egg white in there. So I went and bought, yeah, I had like eight t-shirts. See, I had like, here's two of them. So I just threw them at them last night. So here, try them on, take your pick. Whatever yellow t-shirts that you want, you know, wear them tomorrow. So I got to take a bunch of t-shirts back to Walmart today. They decided to keep two each, so I got to take back four. There we go. I'll put some pepper here. Took a lot of footage. Oh, right on. Yeah, Maggie, the magpie. She's blind. Is she flying yet? I, I can't remember. I remember we talked about because I asked a question about. Um, I asked a question if she try ever would ever try to fly away. But when I did some research, I always do that. Like I mean, magpies. I didn't know much about them, but I did some research on magpies after uh, I watched some of those videos, and they they can form a really really strong bond with humans. So they will fly, but they always come back once they get that bond formed. So. Um, very interesting. And they will attack. I don't know if Maggie will attack, but if you happen to walk through their breeding grounds, and you wouldn't know where the breeding ground is, right? You wouldn't know where Magpie's breeding ground is. But if you happen to walk around or through a Magpie's breeding ground, they will swoop and attack you uh, to, to get you out of their, their territory, right? They're very territorial. But, you know, who isn't really? So, uh, but yeah. Magpies, interesting bird, especially Maggie because she's blind. Your sister's providing really good care for, her, for her, for sure. That's the name of my dog, Maggie, or my kids' dogs, our family dog. She's over there sleeping. I already had her out first thing this morning. Fed her, gave her her food. She's been struggling with something lately. We thought it was like a bladder infection, but we've taken her to the vet. To get some, uh, she will flop but not fly. Do you think she ever will fly? Or just, is she a flopper? It, she's blind as well as a disability, right? I'm trying to remember. Does she have a disability in her wing or her legs? I can't quite remember. I have to go back and revisit. And I'll definitely be watching those new videos that you post. Are you going to have a separate channel um, for Maggie, or are you going to put it on with your um, paranormal stuff? I'm thinking about doing two more, a couple more channels too, and I'm not going to. I'm going to mostly focus on my Paralife TV. That's my main channel, but I got so many just flop, no tail feature. Oh yeah, that would be tough. You don't have that tail feature. Oh no. Oh okay. So I mean, I see what you mean now. <laughs> I got what you mean. I thought I meant there's something wrong with the tail of the bird, but no, I know what you mean now. Yeah, so I think it's starting a couple more channels just to get my 
you know, my footage on because right now it's all stored on like a flash drive or my computer or hard or external hard drive. And uh, I might as well just throw them on and see what happens, right? I'm not going to give them a whole lot of attention. Uh, I'll just put them on. But uh, Paralife will be my main my main channel right now because I, I feel this helps more people than my other channels will. Um, one of the other channels I have is that I, I usually attend auctions every two weeks. There's an au online auction. And you can go now and look at the stuff. You can go and view it live, and you go pick it up, right, obviously, right? And um, But you do it all online. So I was just thinking of videoing uh, that auction every two weeks, you know, the bidding process. Oh, yeah, special guest appearance, definitely. You know, I do the auction process, the bidding. Uh, first, I do the viewing, the bidding, and then the closing, and then the pickup and to review all the stuff that I bought. Then there was the other one where I like to have a nature a nature show because out at the lake, there's so much. Ooh, we got a cooked egg. So much nature out there. Like, was it last weekend? Two weekends ago, I seen a couple moose. Um, or was that three weekends ago? Whenever I had my last day challenge, I've seen two moose out there. There's bald eagles, otter. Uh, I didn't catch any fish. I had a couple um, jump, but I couldn't land them. Whoops, I'm stuck on something. There. Towel. Okay, I'm going to get a coffee on the go here. I wonder how much battery power I got left. Because when I started my workout, it was dead, my computer. Oh, I got two hours. But I got to go to work in a few minutes now anyway. I got to change. Go to work. I'm going to make some coffee. Looks like you need some water. So I'm planning, I put a, po uh, a video out the other day of me taking the panels off, my son and I taking the panels off my gazebo, our gazebo. And uh, I'm planning on setting up my office out there. I think it would work. It was huge. Even with the table in there and chairs that I would use for my computer. And internet connection should be good too because I've done live streams out back with no problems. Whoops. Need a glass, coffee mug. Mm -hmm. So yeah, with the strong internet connection and there's all kinds of space out there. I think when it warms up a little bit, that's going to be a great little office to have just to get out of the house, work out there. All the windows are open with screens so the bugs don't get in. And uh, it'd be great to get outside and work. I'm going to set that up. Hopefully it'll warm. I mean, it's not too bad. It's the mornings. It's still pretty chilly. You know, like we had frost this morning. I'm not going to go out there and work when it's like zero degrees. And uh, probably, you know, midday, the, maybe at lunchtime I could go and set up and work the afternoon out there. 
I just leave one. I have two monitors. I'd leave one monitor out there instead of bringing it in and out all the time. But I got to set up the electrical too because it's not wired in the gazebo. So I have to set up the electrical. I'll get to it eventually. Get that set up. I think it'd be pretty cool outside listening to the birds while I work. I need what am I looking for? No. Built the pantry so I could wheel into it, but <laughs> and I'm blaming on the kids too because they know it. The kids they always clutter things up in the bottom, so I'm always cleaning it up tight so I can get in. I actually messaged it to him. I actually messaged it to him last night. And, hey, I gotta get in here too. And they said to me, they said, "Well, that's the plan. We don't want you to get in there, so you don't eat our our snacks, our treats." So I'm like, ah, oh, all right. What am I looking for? I'm looking for a little bit of a creamer. There's none left. That's another thing I forgot at Walmart too. I was too busy trying to get all those yellow shirts. I forgot to get my coffee creamer. Oh no, I hit the wrong button. I didn't hit the one cup Keurig cup. I hit the, the coffee pot. I wonder how that's going to work out. So my coffee is going into the actual pot. It's supposed to go there, but I, I hit the wrong button up top. Should work out okay, I think. Just have to do an extra dish. I'm going to put a little bit of sugar in there and some milk, I think, if I got any. Just a little bit of milk. Try that out. See if it works. Yeah, it should be okay. Like you said, get that new Keurig machine like two weeks ago, and it got me today. No, it's not doing anything. It's just water. Look. It's just water. I don't know if you can tell. I'm going to stop it. Power, power, power. Okay, look, it's just water, hot water. So I'll put this water back in and do it the right way. Should be good to go now. We will see you a little later, Verna. If anybody wants to, to uh, listen to some great karaoke singing and 
and you know take part in singing some karaoke. You can go to Vernus Channel. Uh, they're on there for quite a while, singing, chatting. They get some pretty entertaining guests. Well, she's pretty entertaining, and she has some entertaining guests on her sh on her show too. So it's pretty cool. I enjoy listening. Enjoy listening to the singing and the uh, conversation while I work. I'm there, Verna. I just mostly listening most of the time because I'm working. There. Are you sure it's not Monday? Is it Monday today? Because you know why it's you know why it's putting out water? Because I didn't put the K cup in there. The K cup failed. Can you believe that? So pocket watch that should have that coffee pot should have filled up with coffee if there was a K cup in there. Try this again, third time's a charm. And I'll put the water back in again. Let's just do this way. This is just not working out for me today. All right, 12 ounces, go. K cup is in there. K cup is in there. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Forgot that. Essential. There we go. We have coffee finally. Oh my gosh. What time is it? Oh, okay. I put a little sugar in there. See how that works. It's definitely coffee now. <laughs> Thought my phone was ringing. There we go. We have coffee. And I had some like that powdered creamer stuff, but I don't know where I put it. Let's put a little bit of milk in it. It's skim milk. It really doesn't make much of a difference. I don't like straight coffee. I, uh, I tried just black before and don't like it. I like a little bit of sweetness to it. love the smell of coffee ever since as a little kid because I remember my uncle and aunt well they're my cousins but they're you know they're older so they more like an uncle and an aunt uh, they owned a coffee shop so when I was a kid uh, my my cousin he was my age we went to his parents coffee shop which were actually my second cousin so they're a bit older but I always call them uncle and aunt and uh just remember the smell of the coffee that they brew. That's pretty good coffee right there. So it always brings back good memories. If I go into a coffee shop, it was the second cup uh, coffee shop that they owned years ago. And uh, always brings back memories when I get that smell of the second cup uh, aroma. That was good. All right, gang, I got to go. I've got to get on. I got to get to work. I got to change and go lo log on and get to work for the day. So thank you all again for joining, keep me company. And I'm going to check out some of your channels, get caught up on them. And we will catch you tomorrow. I'll probably do another live tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. I might do a live tonight too. Who knows?
See, I'm, not really, I'm really bad at planning lives. It's just kind of the spur of the moment. But I will be on tomorrow morning if everything works out fine. Okay, keep rolling. Appreciate you all. Have a great day.